Hi friends, this is one of my favorite guessing books. It's called Who's Looking at You? And you have to guess what the I, what the animal is that has that eye. Okay, Let's start with this one. Hmm, it has dark skin, brown eyes, Hmm, it can't be an animal with feathers, and it can't be an animal with a lot of fur. Hmm, what could that be? Did you guess gorilla? They do have fur, just not around their eyes. This peaceful giant lives with its family in African forests. Gorillas use their eyes and other facial expressions to show feelings such as happiness, fear, and curiosity, just like us. Gorillas can become uneasy if you stare at them. They think staring is a sign of anger. So never stare at the gorillas when you go to the zoo, okay? Okay, how about this one? Ooh, this is a colorful one. Those look like feathers to me. Hmm, do you think it's a turkey? A chicken? Let's find out. Did you guess a parrot or a macaw? This colorful bird doesn't miss a thing. The parrot's eyes are set on either side of its narrow head. It turns its head to look at objects up close. Parrots have excellent eyesight. They can also see many different colors, including some that human eyes can't see. Oh, I thought we could see all the colors of the rainbow. I guess not. Hmm, look at this one. It's blue. I see eyelashes. That might be fur. Hmm, that's a tricky one. Let's see what you guessed. Did you guess a horse? This graceful creature has the largest eyes of any land animal. A horse's eyes are set on either side of its head. This allows a horse to see objects in almost a full circle around its body. There are only two places a horse can't see, right under its nose and right behind its head. Cool. Hmm, look at this one. This eye is squinting. I see so many patterns. They kind of look like scales. It kind of looks like skin. What's your guess? Let's see. Did you guess a sea turtle? This animal is crying, but it's not sad. Sea turtles shed tears when they leave the water. Crying helps them get rid of the extra salt in their bodies. Tears also help to keep sand out of a mother turtle's eyes when she digs a, ne a nest on the beach to lay her eggs. Cool. Hmm. I know what this one is. I do, but I'm not going to say it. I'm going to give you a clue. It's a bug that you can see outside. Hmm. Did you figure it out? A dragonfly. These eyes belong to the fastest insect. Thousands of little sensors join together to form a dragonfly's eye. Thanks to its compound eyes, the dragonfly can see above, below, to the sides, and even behind itself. These eyes come in handy for catching flies and mosquitoes in mid-flight. Wow. This one is super duper hard. Hmm. That doesn't even look like an eye. Not like we know. I wonder what you think that could be. 
Do you think it belongs in the sky, on the land, or in the ocean? Well, if you guessed ocean, you're right. This one's called a cuttlefish. This amazing eye is shaped like a W. Although a cuttlefish cannot see in full color, it can change its color like a chameleon. By changing its color to hide, the cuttlefish can sneak up on fish. Then the cuttlefish reaches out to grab its prey with its long tentacles. Well, that is cool. I told you that was hard. I never heard of that. Hmm, this one is kind of familiar. Could it be a dog or a cat? Hmm, it has a lot of fur, that's for sure. Let's see. It's a lion! This animal spends a lot of time with its eyes shut while it naps under a tree. Just like a house cat, a lion's eyes will change to fit its environment. In the strong African sun, the pupil of the lion's eye will shrink to a tiny dot. The pupil will enlarge to let in more light when the lion goes out at night to hunt. Hmm. So that's why it must have been bright when they took that picture. Oh boy, this is another furry animal. That almost looks like a lion, but it can't be a lion. We already guessed that one. Do you know? A wolf. These eyes shine bright in the night in the dark. Wolves have very good night vision. They use their special eyes to track small movements in animals. This helps wolves hunt at night. Hmm, okay. How about this one? It's very colorful. I can't tell if those are feathers or scales. I can't tell if it belongs to a fish or maybe a lizard. What do you think? Let's find out. It's a chameleon. Is that lizard in the tree looking at you? It can be hard to tell. Humans have two eyes that move in the same direction to see things. The chameleon can move its eyes in separate directions. Its right eye can move up while its left eye looks down. It's a pretty neat trick that lets the chameleon see in all directions. Well, that might be cool. I want chameleon eyes. Okay, how about this one? Well, looks an awful lot like the gorilla. There's a lot of skin, right? And it's dark. Hmm, and that picture was tricky because gorillas do have fur, but they don't have fur around their eyes. This is a tricky, tricky one, but we know it can't be a gorilla. So let's see what it could be. It's a rhino, right? This horn giant does not have good eyesight. The rhino's eyes are small and set far back on either side of its head. If you stood still in front of a rhinoceros, it might even confuse you with a tree trunk. Luckily, rhinos have a strong sense of smell and good hearing to help make up for their poor vision. That's interesting. Okay, this one, hmm. That almost looks like a snake to me, huh? It's got a slit, could look like a cat, but cats have fur. This has skin. It could maybe be a lizard maybe a fish. What do you think? Oh, <gasps> I'm scared of these guys. I don't like sharks. This fearless hunter never blinks. Sharks have eyelids, but they never close. The surrounding water cleans their eyes. Some sharks have a thin, strong layer that protects their eyes when they are hunting. Sharks without this layer 
roll their eyes backward to shield them when they are attacking or being attacked. Oh, that's spooky. Okay, how about this one? Oh, another colorful one. I don't know. It looks like maybe an octopus. Octopuses can be red or a squid. Hmm, what do you think? That's a good guess. Let's find out. Oh, I'm wrong. Blue spotted groper. This tropical fish is covered in polka dots that look like eyes. Its own eyes are set high on its head so it can see what's happening near the surface of the water. The spots, stripes, and bright colors on a blue spotted groper help it blend into its home, the colorful coral reef. Okay. This is the one that was on the cover. Now, I do see fur. Could be feathers. It's hard to know. What do you think? Is it a bird? Is it a furry animal? It's a hawk owl. The bright yellow eyes on this flat faced bird make it look like it's wearing a mask. The hawk owl has amazing eyesight and can spot a mouse from far away, even in the dark. When sitting on a branch, the hawk owl can turn its head around backward to look behind itself. Oh boy. Now wait a minute. That almost looks the same as the other one. But do you see these lines? Huh, that's tricky. What do you think this could be? We know it's not an owl. What could it be? It's an owl butterfly. Did you ever see that before? Look at that. This butterfly uses a clever trick to stay safe when a hungry lizard approaches. The owl butterfly simply opens its wings. When its wings are spread, they look exactly like the face of an owl. The face isn't real, of course, but the fake eyes look real enough to scare off a lizard. Well, that's a special trick. Oh boy. We've got lots of guessing here. Let's see, let's start with this one. This one's a sperm whale. This one's a dog. Oh boy, what could that be? A spider, a green spider, ooh. This is a ferret. A toucan, a cow, that looks like a disco ball, that doesn't look like an eye, what is that? A shrimp, wow, and a snake, super cool, 